might think that a pandemic would be bad news for the health insurance industry, but you know what? It's the property and casualty industry that's being hurt. The health industry is doing okay. The reason is simple. Business interruption insurance, which is exactly what it sounds like, something that interrupts your business, your losses are covered. According to uh, conventional wisdom, the insurance companies who wrote these policies could be on the hook for vast sums of money. But in truth, it's not that simple. See, many of these business interruption policies have explicit exclusions for pandemics. It's like how every hurricane season, we're reminded that most homeowners insurance doesn't cover flood damage. I'm sure most business owners won't be too happy when they notice the fine print. And it's possible many of these disputes end up in court. However, I expect the insurers to prevail, which brings me to Chubb Limited. That's the world's largest property and casualty insurer with a stock that's come down 33 percent from its February highs. It's now it's a below book. If they can enforce the pandemic exclusions in their contracts, I have to believe this stock is just way too cheap. Do not take it from me, though. Let's hear directly from Evan Greenberg, the chairman and CEO of Chubb Limited. to get a better sense of what's going on here. Mr. Greenberg, welcome back to Man Money. Jim, it's good to be with you this afternoon. I hope you're well and keeping safe. I'm trying to, and I hope same for you. I am. Great. I am, and um, and I'm making sure I'm spending my time making sure we're operating normally in these abnormal times. Well, Evan, I've got to tell you, I read a piece of research from Piper Sandler today. It says we are assuming the insurance industry resolves the business interruption claim in issue without bankrupting the industry. Now, Evan, you know, I've been a longtime uh, client of Chubb for everything I have. I do not want you bankrupted. It is, you are important for the country of the world. Can they really bankrupt you? No, I don't think so, Jim. And, you know, first of all, let me let me add perspective and and just correct a little bit of 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 I think how you might see things. Okay. Th- this event, like this health and 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 economic crisis, is going to hit the insurance industry like every other industry hard. We're going to pay tens and tens of billions of dollars in losses from both the pandemic health and the economic crisis. Think credit-related, trade, credit, insurity, or workers' comp, or liability, or the fact that a lot of businesses are shut down and property losses tend to increase them. And I could go on and on. Right. So it's not simply a question of this legal cloud over business interruption. Um, and the industry will pay in different industries business interruption claims particularly for the entertainment industry and single events and, 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 and things like that. But the, question, the question about business interruption that is outstanding right now, standard industry policy forms cover direct physical loss to a property it, to trigger business interruption. Think of fire or right. a flood or a tornado. That impacts your business, shuts it down, business interruption responds. And by the way, the notion of, is it value for money? About 70 cents of every business interruption premium dollar collected, as we estimate it, is paid out in claims. So it's pretty good value for money. Pandemics, um, unlike other catastrophes, they're not covered. And for the vast majority of insureds, and why? It's, um, it's not because we just want to avoid risk. There's a really clear reason. Most catastrophes, like a hurricane or earthquake, are limited by geography or time. Right. Right? Think of a hurricane. It hits a certain geography. It lasts for a certain period of time. Pandemic is very different. It can, you can imagine it hits all insureds or a large majority for a loss all at once. Right. It has no geographic bounds. It has no time limit. And so insurance companies have finite balance sheets. And the loss potential from a pandemic is infinite. So the only one who could really take the infinite nature, financial nature of that, is the government. The insurance industry has $800 billion of capital. And that's to support all the normal risks we insure, plus the catastrophe events that may incur, we may well, incur I, any I, one I, year. I hear you, but look, I, mean, I live in New Jersey. I mean, it's inconceivable yeah. to me that New Jersey doesn't want to make you pay. 
I mean, I, I, how are New York wants to make you pay. These states, these legislatures, there's lawmakers who want to make you pay. That's I you would it. be bankrupt if they if they make you pay. We would. There's a you know, there's there's a little something called the Constitution. And and sanctity of contract is fundamental to the U.S. Constitution. You can't just retroactively change contract. That is plainly unconstitutional. And the industry would prevail on that. And so I understand the frustration of legislatures. I, uh, legislators, I understand they're looking for a remedy, but this would be a self-inflicted injury at a time and create great uncertainty at a time when we have enough uncertainty and we're trying to heal the economy. Is there any and silver so line? Frankly, I, mean, I want to give you two silver yeah. linings that you can answer to. One is uh, nobody's driving. So there's no, very few accidents. And second, the courts are closed. So maybe the plaintiffs are willing to settle. <laughs> I think that's um, I think those are short windows. I guess and, so. um, I agree with you. That's a, the, 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 the trial bar is a, is a thriving um, industry that knows how to make money. I'm sure they're getting a good rest while the courts are closed. Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess I am glad to hear that the Constitution – will prevail because I know that it is possible that the look the insurance industry for those of us who have had to use it in good and bad times is too precious to be wiped out for something that you're right has no there it's infinite we don't know when it's going who you would never take on that risk maybe somebody did though Evan maybe someone actually wrote pandemic insurance they've got to be a job there there is there is there is pandemic insurance out there um, different insureds bought special forms that covered pandemic, and those claims will be paid. Woo. Um, there is no doubt about it, I I including Chubb, um, where, we, where we specifically provided that coverage. We'll all willingly pay. Okay. All right. Well, look, I know you'll pay because that's what Chubb does, uh, but I'm glad to hear – I needed to hear that constitutional stuff because the research is just way too negative. I want to thank and, Evan Greenberg. And, you're exactly right. All right. Evan Greenberg, chairman CEO of Chubb and the dean of this industry. And, yes, once again, I am a client of Chubb for everything I do. I think it's important to point that out. Stick with Kramer. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or... Give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.